fight against the agenda of immigrants and criminals. Um, and we have to present these stories to uh, really make that connection of our humanity uh, even more present than ever because it is at risk. There have been folks who are uh, community organizers. They themselves are undocumented. They themselves are also immigrants. Um, and they've told me, wow, to go see your moving monument at City Hall, to hear the Spanish language spoken, to hear another undocumented mother who's an immigrant tell her story, and to see our story in the midst of every other monument that doesn't represent us is so powerful. The, the reasoning for uh, making the flowers um, was for them to have at least a moment in their day where they're not thinking about, am I going to be deported? Am I going to stay in the center? Am I going to stay in the U.S.? And this was all happening during a time where out of those 14 mothers, 10 were deported back to their home countries after being detained in the center for two years. Well, monuments are you know, statements of power and presence in a city, and many ways they honor. They also kind of call attention to key lessons for time moving forward. And we need to use art to move things because our society is frayed, it, there's turmoil everywhere. And I don't think there are many things that can both shine a light on diversity in the best way possible within the construct of commonality. And I think our work does both. And um, so I not only embrace it and live it, but I want to see it put to work in a way that is that is really moving the needle. And I think Monument Lab is doing that. It's stirring this important discourse on what we want, what our core values are, who do we want to elevate, like what are we thinking about our lives right now in 2017 in Philadelphia and across America. Monument Lab asks us to break open and have the courage to have this conversation around public art in public space.